We currently live in a world full of noise, distractions, and people constantly looking to grab our attention. But I truly believe at the end of the day, all we are looking for is a place that gives us a sense of peace and a place to call home. Welcome to Beverly Hills. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Renzo Montucci and I'm the host of this beautiful blessing of a YouTube channel. In today's video, we are here in Beverly Hills, Florida, and we're gonna be touring this incredible custom home. The builder really overboard with this. I talked to the listing agent and he just went absolutely overboard, which is something incredible. It's something beautiful when we have a builder that isn't just cutting corners, trying to get something done. They're actually putting their time, energy, and love into the property. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this property is four bedrooms, two bathrooms, 2,400 square feet and the best of all is that you're gonna have 1.06 acres of beautiful pristine Florida land my friends so this is situated with no HOA no CDD and you're gonna have an incredible land piece of land surrounded by all these beautiful trees here in Florida for any of you who might not be aware have that much knowledge on where is Beverly Hills Florida probably most of us didn't even know there is a Beverly Hills Florida but indeed, it's a beautiful, pristine of rural area that has been growing significantly due to its beauty. We are approximately only 30 minutes from Ocala, Florida, which is known as the horse capital of the world. The equestrian center is there. One of only two equestrian centers is one in Ocala, one in Ohio. Ocala has a beautiful bustling downtown. It's nice and charming, a, nice, a lot of boutique restaurants, shopping, and you have, that is gonna be your biggest metropolitan city close to Beverly Hills. Then south of us, we're gonna have Tampa, Florida, which if you're somebody that likes to go to sports games, you like to take the kids or go with family to events like the Tampa Bay Rays, you can go to the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Buccaneers, that just had an incredible season just a few years ago. It's something only one and a half hours away. The cool thing about Tampa is that you're gonna have Clearwater Beach and a few other beaches very close by, Sarasota, Siesta Key, but Clearwater Beach is one of the Floridians' favorite, we could call it, just because the beaches, the sand is white, the water is clear, and it's warm all year round and it's warm for a majority time of the year it literally feels like you're stepping into a, a heated saltwater pool it's that beautiful so southeast of us we're gonna have Orlando Florida which is only one and a half hours away from here you're gonna have the Orlando magic this is my city right here this is where I was born and raised here in Orlando so I have a lot of pride in, in our sports teams even though it's so painful but the, we have the Orlando magic who you know, since, since Dwight Howard left, we really haven't been able to come up with anything except for beating, you know, the Toronto Raptors uh, in game one a few years ago of the playoffs. And that's pretty much it. But anyways, we're not going to get too much into that. We're going to have the Orlando City soccer team, which has been growing significantly. The soccer scene and the football scene has been incredible here in the Central Florida area. And then Miami is going to be about four and a half hours from here. It's going to be directly southeast. And then Jacksonville, Florida is going to be about two and a half hours north. Jacksonville is going to have your Jacksonville Jaguars. They're going to have beaches close by. Miami. Miami is a whole nother world in itself. So if you want to learn about Miami, you just got to book a flight and go. Uh, but with that being said, what is cool about Beverly Hills is you're still really close to all these metropolitan cities. And that's some of the beautiful things about Florida. You're really close to everything. Your closest international airport is going to be the Tampa or Orlando. It is literally probably the same amount of distance, an hour and 15 to an hour and a half to get to either international airport. Airport. There are some more private airports, so if you do have a plane, if you do uh, want to fly more private, uh, they have private airports all around here. Now, focus a little bit more on what's close by to here. We're going to have your Publix, your Walmarts, your Lowe's, your Home Depots, only about 10 to 15 minutes away from here. So we're in a rural area, 
but we're still close to all our commercial centers and everything that is essential for our everyday needs. So at the end of this tour, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be giving you all the financial information you need to know about this home, the price amount, the estimated yearly tax amount. There is no HOA, there is no CDD. You don't have to worry about that or think about that throughout the entirety of the video. Also, you know, this channel is all about transparency. And my team and I here in the Central Florida area, that is what we focus on uh, with all of our clients, just transparency, making sure we're doing the things correctly and also being very aggressive and finding you guys good deals. But with that being said, at the end of the video, I'm also gonna talk about about how a realtor can actually help you, how my team can actually help you, and what differentiates us from the traditional realtor that you're gonna experience on ZillowRealtor.com or maybe even other YouTubers. With that being said, I'm gonna have a very special message for all of my returning viewers. Lately, we've been getting a little bit deeper and I've really been enjoying it. I, it's been great hearing about you guys and your experiences and what's been going on in your lives too. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about something that has translated into my life that has been very important and some beautiful habits that have given me more awareness and happiness at the end of the day and feeling proud. So uh, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys at the end of the video, but for now, let's go ahead, get inside and see this video. Come on. Boom, so here we are. It is Florida, my friends. And right now it's a little bit cloudy. It is about 84 degrees out here today because of the beautiful clouds. And it is nice day to be in Florida. Anyways, here we are in front of the property. Like I mentioned, this builder went above and beyond with everything. So as you can see here, he did brick pavers on the whole entirety of this extended driveway. This is something you're not gonna see in Beverly Hills, in Windermere. This is rare, especially because this is such a long driveway. If it was like maybe a short one, okay, that's normal, that's great, it's luxury, it looks good. But this is a huge driveway and he did it all the way up to the extra two car garage workshop. Now, here we are in front of the property, four bed, two bath, 2,400 square feet. What I love is you're also gonna have this extra two car garage right behind us. This is gonna be able to be used as a workshop and we're gonna step in there just a little bit later. Here you're gonna have your other two car garage. So you're gonna have a total of four car garage that has a separate entrance, which is really nice. Now, going to the front of the property, you're gonna have this nice walkway, which stays paved. I like that you got this black mold, which gives the exterior a nice touch of kind of more rustic style farmhouse look. You're gonna have the stacked stone below. This home is concrete block and stucco, so you do not have to worry about hurricanes. You don't have to worry about tornado, whatever it is. This is concrete block and stucco. This is not moving. And also we're here in the central part of Florida where we really don't get hit uh, by hurricanes. Also, you're gonna have this nice patio space, nice light fixtures, a lot of windows at the front of the home. Let's get inside. Now, stepping into this home, we're gonna continue with the rustic look, my friends. We're gonna have this nice subway ceramic tile. Also, we're gonna have these nice light gray walls, a lot of windows, a lot of fine, just minimalistic uh, fixtures throughout the house. This black fan fixture here in the great room. And yes, here we are stepping into the great room, my friends. Something really cool is you're gonna have the double tray ceilings with the crown molding, wood paneling up top with four LED recessed lighting. It is just nice and bright in here. The contrast between kind of this rustic, darker look is perfect with the kind of lighting that they set up in here. So this is the great room. Uh, one cool little thing is you're also gonna have a power outlet down here by the floor. Uh, here's gonna be a perfect place to set up your TV if you wanted to. You're gonna have this nice electric fireplace. The cool thing is this actually like crackles. They have a sound coming out of it. It does heat up the home as well. But what I really love is you're gonna have the space up top. This is perfect, you know, setting up the family photo, setting up the family picture. So you're always reminded of what's most important. But yeah, you got this nice stone right over here. And then we're gonna transition, ladies and gentlemen, into the kitchen. Now, the first thing that really just draws your attention here is the multi-use sink. This is a beautiful farmhouse sink. You're gonna have all this multi-use equipment already. You're gonna have the nice black handle fixture. 
and here's gonna be your garbage disposal. This is just a beautiful island, beautiful sink. Just gives you everything you possibly need. Uh, this is really nice granite countertop that we have here. Nice extended island. Back over here, we're gonna have our stove. We're gonna have our range hood. So it's taking all that smoke, all the gunk outside of the home so it's not stuck on top of the cabinets. Nice white shaker cabinets with the handle and the soft close, my friends. Right over here is gonna be your fridge. Right over here is going to be your dishwasher. And then right over here, we're gonna have our microwave and our extra built-in oven. The cool thing is both of these can serve as an air fryer. So if you wanna bake a cake down here and you wanna fry some chicken wings up here, you're good to go. That's actually a really good combination, chicken wings and cake. Anyways, right over here, we're gonna have our nice little pantry area. Gives you a good amount of space and this is just a kitchen that really, it's rustic, it's, it's beautiful. You're overlooking the, the backyard. And that's something that kind of touches me about this home. It, it kind of gives me a good vibe about this house is wherever you look in your peripheral vision, like right now, I see green over there, over there, and over there. Because there's so much natural light, there's so many windows, we're always looking into the grass, we're always looking into the green, we're always looking into nature, which is honestly what I truly believe fills us with love and, and just getting back to our roots and who we are and what we are. So being able to just constantly see the beautiful woods around you is, is a really cool feature about this house. Right over here, my friends, we're gonna have our dining area. And this is gonna be a good space where you can set up a 10 to 12 person table. So if you are somebody who loves to have family and is very family oriented, and you wanna spend time with your family, sit down at the table, have a nice meal, this is perfect. Also, maybe you have kids and they're playing in the backyard or you have a pool. You know, you always wanna be able to keep a good eye on them. So you have these two double windows looking out into the backyard, which is incredible. And speaking on the 10 to 12 table, you know, I don't really know what's been happening. I don't know why. I think nowadays, you know, we eat dinner in front of our computers or our TV. You know, I went to JP on my team, told me about, you know, going to this church that he goes to and the pastor, was literally just try, just try eating without looking at a screen. And I was thinking five, 10 years, you know, 10, actually 10 years ago when I was living at home with my parents, my father's Italian, my mother's Venezuelan, the, it was, wasn't even a question if we could have our phones or our tablets or our MacBooks or whatever gadgets we have today, you know, at the table. You know, I'd get smacked in the mouth to be honest, but, I really hope we go back to that. I really hope we go back to those beautiful traditions that we had because at the end of the day, everybody went through an experience, your son, your kid, your brother, your friend, whatever it is. And when you share it with each other and you collaborate and you help someone in your family, you're ultimately growing together. Your spiritual energy comes all together and it's something really cool. So I like this space just because it can allow you to do that. Also, you know, you're looking into nature and, um, and that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna go across the kitchen one more time, my friends. We're gonna have this extra little space right here with some nice cabinetry. I like that. It's really cool, it has some lights hanging down below. And then we're gonna kind of come into this little mudroom area. Right over here, we're gonna have extra linen closet. This is gonna step us into the two car garage. And it's a nice space. You're gonna have a sink in here. You're also gonna have an extra door. You're gonna have a hybrid water heater that connects to your telephone and pretty cool. Now, right over here, we're gonna have our laundry space. You're gonna have a nice cabinet, cabinet space above. This is where your washer and dryer are gonna go, kind of keeping that theme of natural light coming into the home. And then right over here, we're gonna step into the master bedroom. Stepping into the master, what I really, really like, and it's one of the first things I really check on a property is when I step into one of the bedrooms, I'm like, please don't have carpet, please don't have carpet, please don't have carpet. This home doesn't have any carpet. This is all ceramic tile, my friends. You're gonna have tray ceilings in here with the crown molding, LED lights, beautiful fan fixture, two windows facing the east side of the property. This is about you know 22 by 13 feet, this room, just to give you a perspective. And this is perfect place to set up your TV, your king or California king size bed. Also, one really cool thing is you can set up your TV and honestly, I had no idea what this was. Uh, my videographer just told me, and, and it's JP, by the way. I don't know if you guys know yet, but here you're gonna be able to run a camera. So if you set up your TV here, you're gonna be able to run your cables through here, down here, 
and plug it in. So they're gonna be going behind the TV and you don't have all the cables scrambled all over the floor and everything. So it's a cool extra feature that once again, the builder went above and beyond. Now stepping into the bathroom, my friends, this is just a bathroom that it just feels like you're in a forbidding cave that is just has all this beautiful energy in it. Now over here, we're gonna have a really cool closet. This is gonna be a shoe rack. So you're gonna have be able to set up all your shoes, maybe put all your coats and jackets right over there for the three weeks out of the year that it gets cold here in Florida. It's a little sarcastic, but uh, yeah. So you're gonna have space for that, space for your shoes. And then right over here, we're gonna have our main closet. This is gonna be a pretty good space, uh, especially combined with that area right over there. You're gonna have two different layers of, of racking your clothes and I would definitely put a drawer and you know, so you can have a little bit more stuff around. And stepping into the bathroom, you're gonna have this double vanity split by this beautiful wood cabinet, which is a really elegant touch. You're gonna have your own mirrors, light fixtures, granite countertop, nice shaker cabinet, wood shaker cabinets down below. Right over here, we're gonna have our private toilet with its uh, sliding door. And what I really like is in that it's kind of makes you feel like you're in the cave is, is the shower. You're gonna have a beautiful shower. You're gonna have two different shower heads and you literally are in a cave. I don't know if you can hear my echo, but you're in a cave. And this, honestly, I probably wouldn't get out of the shower in the morning. Now we're stepping into the west wing of the home and this is where the rest of the bedrooms and bathrooms are going to be located. Right over here at the very front, we're gonna have our second full bathroom. You're gonna have double vanity. And the coolest part about it is you're gonna have a nice kind of seating area here so you can get ready in the morning. Kind of turn on the light, look at yourself in the mirror, write down your affirmations, make sure you look good and you're ready to, to conquer the day and then turn it off and get started. So here is, you're gonna have a nice little linen closet. Here's gonna be a full tub, nice space right over here. And this is gonna be in uh, a door that leads out into the back patio. Now the cool thing is I love that they designed it and put the bathroom here at very close to the living space. So when you do have family and friends over, it's very accessible for them. They don't have to walk past all your bedrooms. So right over here, we're gonna have Another one of our bedrooms. Again, no carpet, which is a very nice touch. And right over here, you're gonna have your window facing the north side of the property. What's really cool in these bedrooms is these are oversized bedrooms. These are 13 by 12 feet. So all of these bedrooms are a little bit bigger than the traditional 11 by 10 or even 12 by 11. So you're gonna have your closet space here. And also you're gonna have extra door right over here. So it's side by side. This is the same long closet throughout the whole entire length of this side, uh, which is really neat. So now we're gonna go right across the hall into the next bedroom. This is gonna be same size, 13 by 12 feet. Nice fan fixture, window overlooking the south side of the home. Only difference, we're gonna have a nice walk-in closet for this bedroom. Very nice LED lights throughout. Now we step out and then we take a left and then we're back into the very last, the fourth bedroom of the home, 13 by 12 feet, window overlooking the north side of the property. And we're also gonna have a nice walk-in closet, my friends. So now let's step outside, take a look at this beautiful acre of land that we have here and see what we can do with it. Now stepping out into the back patio, my friends, this is just something incredible. You're gonna have three beautiful fan fixtures in this super large patio. This is all gonna be your concrete block flooring. What I would recommend out here is definitely put like your outdoor carpet or outdoor kind of layered wood that you can put on top of here. Um, but anyways, this is all your, your back patio space. And to tell you the truth, this is what it's all about if honestly i want to buy one of these types of houses with just land and trees behind you because i'd love to just come out at the beginning of the day at 6 7 a.m and start my day with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a cup of water and just be able to read a book write down some notes meditate and just look at the trees literally when you're sitting here all you hear are birds 
in the Florida wind. Very cool. Stepping over here, my friends, we are going to have our hookup for water. So you can have a sink, you can actually set up an outdoor grill, you can set up some TVs. So this is a place where you can also start creating experiences. This is where, hey, this is the house where all the friends and family come for the game, for the Super Bowl, for the World Cup, for the Champions League, for the Serie A, Coppa Italia. Roma's winning this year, by the way. Uh, yeah, so you have these different spaces and different opportunities in this back patio. Now stepping into the backyard and the woods and the grass, it's just space, my friends. It's space, it's open, it's land. It just keeps you at peace, honestly. If someone's upset or angry, or not happy with their lives, I swear, go into nature, go on a nature retreat for a couple of days and I guarantee you, you'll be a different person. It's impossible not to be happy when you're out here and living a natural life. All of these trees is part of the property, my friends. So uh, the builder specifically built this house kind of a little bit more inward. So he cleared these trees that were closer to the house Make sure he sawed a lot of this area. You can put an Olympic size swimming pool if you wanted to. That's something important to you. You can easily do so. And that's all trees. So if you wanted more land to utilize it, you can cut this down. You can clear it out. You can saw it. You can do all of that. You can set up your beautiful garden, set up your plants, mango trees, avocado trees, whatever it is, strawberries. We're in Florida. Use it. Use the ability to create your own non-GMO, free organic, foods, my friends. That's what we can do. That's the beauty of being in Florida. We can create citrus, fruits, plants, vegetables, all that. Another cool thing, my friends, is we are going to have an outdoor shower. So if you just spent a long day outside and you're hot, you're stinky, you're sweaty, it's time to take a shower. We'll leave the shower for another time, but it's a really cool feature, especially if you're gonna be thinking about a pool or even a hot tub, you know, just clearing the chlorine off you, just getting clean after a shower. This is an extra touch that just goes above and beyond what the typical builder does. Now we're gonna go across the home, my friends, and we're gonna look at this extra two car garage. Now stepping into the two car garage, this is just something incredible. You got an entrance over there. You got an entrance over here. This is a heightened entrance. So if you have a lifted truck, if you have a big car, you can put it in here. Both of these are gonna be garage. Uh, you're gonna have your garage door opener. This is it, my friends. If you're looking for a workshop, here you got it. <laughs> so here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this tour and Please let me know what you think about this house in the comments. Let's chat about it. Let's talk about it. What the builder did specifically on this home that really touched you or resonated with you. So please, please, let's hear what you guys think. I love hearing your comments and that is it. So first and foremost, the price, my friends, the price of this home is only $650,000, my friends. $650,000 for an acre of land, a custom home over 2,400 square feet, with an extra two-car garage in a location that is growing very quickly. This is an absolute steal. This house was already under contract. It, it came back on the market and it's just something incredible that right now this property is available. This is beautiful. The cool thing is there are a lot of homes similar to this. This builder does. This builder is a little bit more exclusive. He may build, you know, a, a custom for somebody specifically, but it just had to make sense. It had to be maybe something that inspired him, a project that inspired him. So if there are people out there with creative minds interested, you know, maybe he's worth chatting to about, you know, potentially building your house. But obviously this is one that is currently available and uh, ready to go. So estimated taxes are going to be around $5,500 to $6,000 per year. Uh, it's a very relatively low tax for a $650,000 house. That's almost less than 1% of, of millage. So $5,500 to $6,000 per year. So with that being said, it's $5,500 to $6,000 before Florida homestead tax exemption. So once you live in Florida for one year, you can apply for Florida or you can apply right away. Um, and then once you hit your one year mark here in Florida, you'll get your Florida homestead tax exemption. It deducts $50,000 off taxable value of your property. So if you bought it at 650, uh, you'll pay taxes on 600,000 essentially. With that being said, that is pretty much
much it. Now let's say if there's anyone out there who was interested in this property and you know wanted to know what it looked like down payment wise. Down payment wise, I would recommend doing a conventional loan. I would kind of leave FHA out of it because you'd have to put almost $200,000, over $200,000 down. So conventional is the way to go. In order to get approved for conventional, you can have a 660 credit score and above. I recommend having 680 and above, but the higher the credit score, the better interest rate you're gonna get. And also the lower uh, private monthly private mortgage insurance that you're gonna have. Now, if you put 20% down on a conventional loan, you don't have to pay private mortgage insurance, which is about 150 to 300 dollars per month depending on the property so anyways if you're looking to buy this as a primary residence no problem if you already own one two three four five homes you can still purchase this as a primary residence with a conventional loan let's say we're at six hundred and fifty thousand five percent is thirty two thousand five hundred dollars my friends that is going to be your down payment on this property now your closing costs closing costs are completely separate closing costs are typically three percent of the purchase price so three percent is nineteen thousand five hundred so in total it's about fifty two thousand dollars now, $52,000, you're not paying that. Like I spoke in the beginning of the video, a realtor, specifically a good team of realtors are here to fight and negotiate for you. If someone came to this property and said, hey, I want this property, okay, great. Like, you know for sure, you saw it, everything is perfect. It's the home of your dreams. I, that's where I go, okay, sounds good. Let me see what I can do. Now, I'm also, when you guys call me and we have a specific property, I'm gonna tell you exactly what my strategy on this property is. The very first thing I do is get on the phone with the listing agent. I say, hey, how you doing? Uh, you got any offers on the property uh, at the current moment in time? Okay, perfect, perfect. If they do have a property I or a, a offer, I see where they're at. Perfect. Are any of those offers cash? Are any of those offers uh, financed? Are they, okay, if they are financed, are they conventional? Are they FHA? You know, these are questions you need to ask as a realtor, you know, to a listing agent about the property. And then I, I'm gonna ask, okay, so that cash offer, you know, is it kind of a little bit below, like how far below is it from asking price? I don't ask, you know, hey, is it, you know, asking, what are they giving you? I say, so how much below is asking price because if it's a cash offer nobody's coming in and asking uh you just know so i'm always going to assume below and then on financing i'm going to see if they have any contingencies on there you know what the inspection period is all of the above these are questions i'm going to ask these are the easy questions and then later i get into negotiations if they don't have any offers on the property man i get aggressive i'm like okay perfect you know this is a, a beautiful house um but it really just needs to make sense for my clients financially right now you know we might be able to be here but we would need you know on almost four or 5% in closing costs. Is the builder a little bit flexible right now, you know, maybe to, to contribute to that? And typically they're like, yeah, you know, we can we can make something happen. I'm like, okay, perfect. So, you know, we're gonna write up an offer, we're gonna send it in and, uh, you know, this is where we're gonna be. Now, typically I at first, in the first comment, in the first talk, before we even send an offer, I ask them how flexible is the builder? How flexible is the seller? You know, where's he at? You have to make buddies with the listing agent. You have to make buddies with the builders. And to be honest, want to because at a certain point you're going to be helping them sell and you're going to be helping a client get in the home you're going to be helping one of you guys get into a property so it's a win-win for everybody but there's a certain way to do it you can't hard head your in your way into anything but anyways i'm getting too much into negotiations at the end of the day my team and i focus on this every day every monday and thursday we have a class we talk about negotiations we talk about what's going on in the market we talk about you know how many homes are selling what's the average appreciation this month and all these details with that being said you know $52,000 to get into a property like this is I can guarantee you you're not paying $52,000. What I'd say you focus on is focus on your down payment and then I'll get the rest covered for you. I'll get your closing costs covered, making sure we're at least getting three, four percent in closing costs on this specific property. So down payment would look around $32,000, $33,000. Closing costs are another three percent, but it's my job, my team's job to make sure that gets covered for you. No questions asked. That is the type of market we're in. When we were in COVID, you had to give almost 30k over a value but this the current market we are in these are the conditions and we know how to work the market based off where we're at right now that guess the extra two car garage you know, uh, JP and I were talking and he asked me like, hey, what would you do with that? What would you do with that two-car garage? And then he kind of gave, gave some of his insights on what he was he was thinking. And honestly, if there are any MMA fans, that is the perfect, perfect, perfect 
place to set up maybe like 50% of the two car garage. Just put some mats down, maybe in the, JP said in the corner, put like two heavy bag or maybe one heavy bag, one hanging boxing bag, just go to work a little bit. And then maybe have a squat rack, a bench rack on the other side, but also have a huge TV set up in there. So when there are fights, when there are UFC, boxing, uh, whatever it is, even just regular other sports, you know, you can sit in there, you know, bring your pillows, bring your blankets, make sure you sanitize it. You're sweating on there, but that is perfect, perfect for a gym. Set up your jujitsu mats, set up, uh, you know, your uh, heavy bags, your boxing bags, your squat, your whatever it is. That's I would personally do. Me and JP would probably, we'd be rolling in there all day if, <laughs> if we had a place like that. But anyways, and the special message I wanted to talk to you guys about was something that I'm very honest about is, or something that I've struggled with, something that I have lacked discipline in, and that's gonna be meditation. This is something that I've felt the effects of it, but I'm still yet undisciplined on it. But I wanted to share with you some of the importance of what kind of experiences I've lived through meditating. Now, I do wanna give a disclaimer. I am not a professional spiritual counselor. I'm speaking purely based off experience. Everything I teach you guys and talk a little bit more about than just real estate, it's things I've lived through experience. It's not things that necessarily, you know, I just saw a clip and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna share this. It's things I've lived through. And the more you guys watch my channel, the more I'm gonna be sharing with you my story of, you know, where I came from and, and the absolutely horrible mindset that I had and, you know, a really low energy level Life that I was living with filled with depression and anxiety, you know, coming to where we are today, being able to speak to you guys and communicate and sharing love and prosperity and information in a positive way. But anyways, back to meditation. Meditation, I'd say, is something I started about two years ago. My mother is, I'd like to say, a very spiritual person. And, you know, she got me, she was an example for a change when things weren't going really great with me and my family and, and a few other things. But I always saw she meditated and I was always curious very curious person always wondering why people do things and you know what is this what is this always asking questions but anyways my mom always meditated and you know how kids are you know you're curious but you don't really want to take any advice from your parents because you know everything and that's how I was very stubborn and hard-headed but later down the road you know I had to kind of figure it out for myself that you know there is a true essence to meditation and it's about just just getting into a state of where you're not thinking and getting into a state where you're calm and relaxed and you're you're really not thinking about anything and for us who like to think and for us who are overthinkers and for us who seem to go from one topic to another to another to another in the matter of two seconds and we're like all right try to turn off your brain it gets difficult and what happens is you know sometimes it's the ego speaking to us sometimes it's it's uh, just our minds and our anxieties and the things we're worried about in life but what meditation has done for me is I typically get in my closet I turn off all the lights I make sure there's no noise and I sit down on a little bean kind of like a flat bean bag that I I have dad gave me from Italy and I sit in a very straight posture and I close my eyes and I just focus on breathing that's the first thing for about two three four minutes I don't even know how long it is because I'm not looking at my phone or whatever but I just close my eyes and try and really focus on the breath I breathe through my nose and just get my breath under control. The next thing is that I start thinking about just a bright white light coming above, that's above me. And every time I inhale, it absorbs into my mind. It absorbs into all the insecurities, into all of the negative emotions that I have in me. And it just quiets it down, it calms it down. And this is where a lot of people, if you are a visual person, you can get very deep into this. And this is something that takes practice, but it's something that what the effects that I feel at the end of the day are a calmer mind, an ability to make better decisions. Once I wake up from that meditation, once I get up from that meditation, all those worries and insecurities and that feeling of like, all right, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. It slows down. You feel calmer. You feel more relaxed. You feel like you're in control of your mind. You feel like the rest of the world isn't controlling you and you're actually in control of yourself. You're not constantly trying to scramble to your Instagram or super 
super reacting to whatever's going on to you, you're in control. Now, I felt these, I'd say, early stages effects and it got me hooked. A lot of people, I bet there are a lot of us who maybe have tried meditation and it seems to be the same thing. I either start sleeping or yeah, I fall asleep or I don't know what to think about. I don't know what to do. The goal is research, you know, find something that works for you. What I work, for, what works for me isn't gonna work for everybody who's here. What works for, you know, you isn't gonna work for the next person, but you gotta really start understanding who you are and how it can affect you. Anyways, I read this book. It was pretty, I don't know if this was an academic book, but it was, it was pretty heavy on details. I can't really tell you I've, <laughs> you know, I've remembered every single thing. But what I did learn from this is that the science of meditation and the way it affects the brain is real. You know, there's so many studies in here that they talk about that it literally changes the way our mind works. And I'm not gonna sit here and try and tell you every single physical or medical detail as to how it affects your brain. But what I would say, if you are interested in learning more about it, it's called Altered Traits. It was a great book. I read it about two years ago when I first started getting into meditation to see if it's real and this book kind of gave me all the answers I was looking for so that's it kind of my spiel hope you helps or whatever kind of just gives a little bit of information out there on you know just growth you know I want to talk to you about guys about growth because if we're not growing I truly believe we're dying my rating on this house what do you think JP <laughs> JP loves it I'm gonna go ahead and give this property this is an 8.8 type of property and it's gonna be tough to get into a property that's a 10 and like like be like okay this is a 10 but for the price for the land for the location and everything this is an 8.8 .8. so yeah that's the final rating my friends and that is it for today we are gonna get out of here we're gonna get back to Orlando uh, get back to work and you know start chatting with a few of you who are in the process of you know finding your dream home with the Montiuti group. Do you want to let you know we do have a beautiful team here. JP is a videographer, he does a lot of content. He's also an amazing realtor. We have Andrew Sweet who is works in very uh, high-end luxury real estate. He's in Winter Garden, he's in Windermere, he's in that Claremont area. And then we have Roger Brito, nuestro agente que habla más español y él trabaja en todo el área de Centro Florida. He works with a lot of builders so he he knows every single community so he is one of our new construction experts here on our team we have our commercial team with Jose David Olivar uh, he speaks Spanish as well uh, Maria Camila who is gonna be our editor who edits these beautiful videos so if you like this video make sure to drop a comment Camila good job we love you you're doing amazing because she really works really hard on on every editing every single video also we're gonna have Glenda who is our lead customer service assistant uh, she started about two months ago and you've been amazing Glenda if you ever watch this um, but anyway she's she's gonna be helping every single one of us clients every single one of us uh, to make sure you guys have an amazing experience and we just brought on we have a full team set up to make sure you have an incredible experience make sure you know every step of the way what's going on and what to expect and making sure we guys we're getting you the best deal with the best protection anyways that's it I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video ciao ciao